Hello, and welcome to Tech Goose TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install both powered and non-powered video cards into the HP Z840 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you may need a Phillips head screwdriver. We also recommend going through this process with the workstation on its side to have better access to the system's interior. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about video card compatibility for the HP Z840. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the white light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. Also check the manufacturer's system manual and comply with the recommended safety instructions for this procedure. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side. If the latch is locked, please ensure you use the included keys to unlock the panel like so. Now remove the panel to reveal the interior. You will also need to remove the internal covers to access the motherboard. To install a video card, identify the green lever holding the slot cover retainers in place and remove a cover by pulling it out from the slot. You can now install the video card. Press firmly down to ensure even alignment and a proper install. Larger video cards can use the mounting bracket. In order to install the bracket, connect it to the end of the video card as shown. Ensure the thumb screws tighten all the way. Once mounted together, install according to the previous instructions but ensure you also align the bracket with the bracket slot in the computer system. Some cards require power. Depending on the power supply and video card, connect up to three power cables as needed. They snap in place easily. Now reattach the inner panels in this order and then reattach the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and video card installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.